the liver is a digestive system organ. It's an outgrowth of the digestive tube. And uh, it does have a capsule, a connective tissue capsule on the external surface. It may have fingers of connective tissue extending down into the substance of the liver and uh, those are called trabeculae but this dark line here would be the capsule and uh, we go back to a lower power we see that uh, the liver has lobules and these lobules are characterized by a central vein and radiating out from the central vein are the uh, liver cords and uh, these are made of a line of uh, hepatocytes or liver cells and uh, we go down and look at one of those hepatic cords uh, we'll see that uh, the liver cell has uh, a round nucleus the cells are sort of polygonal shaped between the liver cords or strings of cells are the uh, hepatic sinuses and these sinuses or sinusoids uh, is where the blood that's being processed comes to the liver cells uh, for their biochemical ac action upon that uh, substrate. At the uh, edges of each lobule uh, there are the portal triad, and the portal triad is made up of three vessels, the portal vein, the hepatic artery, and the bile duct. And if we go down onto high power and uh, look at this, again, the large portal vein, the next uh, is the hepatic artery, than the bile duct. The way that we can tell the difference also is that the bile duct is made up of cuboidal to columnar epithelium. Here's the basement membrane of the duct, the nucleus of the cuboidal to columnar cells, and the lumen of the bile duct. This is simple squamous endothelium on the inner surface of this hepatic artery. So there's some blood in the hepatic artery and then the very large portal vein.